like this idea of hiding. Don't worry. The council ordered an investigation. It won't take Master Obi-Wan long to find that bounty hunter. I haven't worked for a year to defeat the Military Creation Act. Not to be here when its fate is decided. Sometimes, we have to let go of our pride and do what is requested of us. Pride? Annie, you're young, and you don't seem to have a very firm grip on politics. I suggest you reserve your opinion for some other time. Sorry, Millie, I was only trying to- Annie, no. Please, don't call me that. What? Annie. I've always called you that. It is your name, isn't it? It's Anakin. When you say Annie, it's like I'm still a little boy, and I'm not. I'm sorry. Anakin. It's impossible to deny you, grown up. Pastor Obi-Wan manages not to see it. Mentors have a way of seeing more of our faults than we would like. It's the only way we grow. Don't get me wrong. Master Obi-Wan is a great mentor. As wise as Master Yoda, and as powerful as Master Windu. I'm truly thankful to be his apprentice. Only, although I'm a Padawan learner, in some ways, actually a lot of ways, I'm ahead of him. I'm ready for the trials. I know I am. He knows it too. He believes I'm too unpredictable. Other Jedi my age have gone through the trials and made it. I know I started my training late, but he won't let me move on. That must be frustrating. It's worse. He's overly critical. He never listens. He just, he just doesn't understand. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound exactly like that little boy I once knew. When he didn't get his way. I'm not whining. I'm not, okay? I didn't say it to hurt you. I know. Anakin? Try not to grow up too fast. I am grown up. You said it yourself. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? Because I can see what you're thinking. <laughs> so you have Jedi powers too? It makes me feel uncomfortable. Sorry, my lady. Hey there, girly. How are you doing? <laughs> Sweating like a pig, actually. And yourself? That's a way to get a guy's attention. Mm -hmm. My mission in life. Obviously, you're interested, so you see it worked. The world makes sense again. Pick you up Friday, then. Oh yeah, Friday. The night I take you to places you've never been before. Like where? A 7-Eleven on Burnside? Do you even know my name, Screwboy? <laughs> I know a lot more than that. Doubtful. Very doubtful. Hey, you ain't no bargain either, sweetheart. You hate me, don't you? I don't really think you warrant that strong an emotion. Then say you'll spend dollar night at the track with me. And why would I do that? Come on. The ponies, flat beer. You with money in your eyes, me with my hand on your ass. You covered in my vomit. 